In this video from Device Doctor, I will show you how to fix the Epson L6190 when it shows Epson Device Recovery Mode. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. When you plug in your Epson printer, it powers on but gets stuck on Epson Device Recovery Mode. This usually happens because of a sudden power loss or a failed firmware update. First, go to Google and search for Epson L6190 driver. Next, open the second site, which is the official Epson Europe website. Now, set your system to Windows 10 64-bit. Then click the Go button. Now scroll down and click on the Firmware section. Click on the firmware version and a download button will appear. Click it and wait for the download to finish. The file is not large, only about 27 megabytes, so it will not take much time. Now open your downloads folder and run the file you just downloaded. Now the Epson firmware updater has opened. It includes six steps. Just follow along with the video and complete each step one by one. Click on the Agree option, then click Next to continue. Click Next again to proceed. Now, if the USB checkbox is not selected, make sure to check it. Then, click on the Start button to begin the firmware process. This process will finish quickly. It usually takes just a few minutes. A firmware transfer from your computer to the printer will finish quickly, and you can close the program. However, at the end, a message will appear telling you to wait until the printer turns off automatically. This process usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes, and sometimes up to 15 minutes. After the printer turns off, press the power button to turn it back on. You will see that the error is gone and the printer starts normally and works just fine. Now, to make sure the printer is working properly, we will do a quick copy test to check if everything is fine and there are no other issues. And there you go. The printer is working perfectly and the error is gone. I hope this guide made the process easy for you.
If you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more simple, step-by-step -step fixes. Only here on Device Doctor.